Welcome to the Servicely AI Incident Management Demo. So we're going to go into the uh, agent interface here, ITSM, and let's pretend we're on the service desk and we're going to create a new incident. And it goes a bit like this. Hi, this is Ben O'Loughlin on the service desk. How can I help? Well, this is Andrew then. Hi, Andrew, how can I help? Well, my SAP session is locked. Okay, bear with me, Andrew, while I look into that for you. And, uh, okay, it looks like it is actually locked on the server. I'm going to unlock it for you, Andrew. How's that? Well, it works now. Oh, that's great, Andrew. Um, thanks for calling the service desk, and please fill out the survey. All right, so out of role play, what just happened there? So a number of things happened. So first of all, um, the Servicely AI automatically assigned and classified and prioritized um, this uh, incident. And we're able to do that because we've seen this sort of thing before. Um, we're using natural language, so it doesn't matter if it's SAP session is locked or ERP session is locked or can't get into SAP or SAP is frozen or any sort of variation like that. We're going to look at that and we're going to say, well, look, we've seen that at least five to 10 times before. And each time it's attracted this assignment, SAP support and this classification. Um, so that's what we're going to apply to it. We can remove all that routing or we can change any one of those fields and that will update the AI model. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to surface uh, a bunch of relevant knowledge. So in this case, we've got an SAP session locked procedural guide. So why don't we attach that to the ticket because we can send that to Andrew and he would give it a damn good ignoring, but you never know. Maybe he will look at it and uh, use that to shift left next time. All right, um, so we're going to send an email and that'll go off to Andrew. And finally, um, we've got these intelligent actions that are being proposed by the system. Now, this first one is a diagnostic step, check active SAP sessions, and that's not going to break anything. And so the AI, it's 78% confident, is going to do that itself because it's pretty safe. It's going to come back and say the session's locked. Now, the next thing that people tend to do after that is um, unlock the SAP session with a 72% certainty. Now, this is something that could mess up his session if he's um, if he's not actually locked and we run this. Uh, he could lose some data. So this is an example of um, a, 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 an action with side effects. And so we're going to require the human to decide whether to do that. Um, and would say execute action. Maybe if we get more and more confident of that, with something that we can do in the AI without supervision, but we have the option to do either. Uh, we've also got a work activity log where we note, notate anything that's gone on here. So for example, here's the short description. Uh, these all happened at the same time, so they're a little out of order. Um, check the SAP session, um, classified, uh, performed action. Uh, now, these are useful if you're going to uh, escalate this to level two or level three so they can see all the things that have been tried before. And it's also useful if you're going back and doing reviews of tickets. You can see what was done for successful tickets, what was done for unsuccessful tickets, that sort of thing. Um, we've also got the usual um, incident management type things. We've got major incident. And I should say that this work activity, this is private to the service desk. This is what goes to the customer. Um, we've got major incident type options. A major incident can have its own workflow. It can have a manager and followers and so on. Um, related information here. Um, so impact and services, there aren't any in this case. Um, related knowledge, related major incident, related problem. Is a change required? Is there attached knowledge? Those sorts of things. Um, and any attachments that are, that are going on to that. Um, so that's the AI-assisted um, uh, incident process. In this case, we've got a we've got classification, we've got knowledge, we've got a couple of intelligent actions, and you may have noticed that took about twenty seconds to um, execute that whole workflow. If we had to classify it manually, then find knowledge, and then swivel chair over to the SAP administration 
uh, window and then find Andrew's session and then close Andrew's session and then um, notify Andrew and then swivel chair back here and make a bunch of notes and then close the ticket so to resolved. Um, that is probably about five minutes worth of work and we've done it in 20 seconds. So that's actually a, what is that, a 15 times speed up. Um, and if you do that with enough tickets, then you pretty soon start to free up some significant resources from the first level service desk. And you also, uh, in many cases, can uh, resolve things at first level that you otherwise, otherwise might not have been able to um, because you can you can uh, allow first level to do very limited sysadmin tasks and the attack surface for um, secure from a security point of view is, is still remains remains fairly low. You're not giving first level people you know unfettered access to, uh, in this case, SOP support. So thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this little um, demo and uh, please get in touch if you feel like we can help.